Welcome to the Rich TV Live podcast. I'm your host, Richard D'Souza, and I'm here with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having us on as always. Always a pleasure. Really excited to have you on the show. You guys just reported your financials for the third quarter for 2023. Please talk to me about it. Very impressive results. Let me know what you think. Yeah, it was a really great quarter for Vox and our shareholders. Uh, it was record gross profit. It was a record nine months for us in totality. And you know, one of the, the really interesting things about our financials and, and what it speaks to is the strength of our ability to buy really good royalties at really good values. We have very, very strong gross profit. And what you see is that's manifesting in very significant cash flow and free cash flow. Uh, and also importantly, this quarter was very positive earnings. And, uh, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, we also approved our dividend for another quarter. Uh, we're demonstrating that's very sustainable and also capable of growing. So yeah, across the board, a really strong quarter for Vox and our shareholders and something that we were, we were very proud to deliver for our business. I think you should be proud of it. I think in this market environment, it's not easy to find companies that are growing their revenues, growing their assets, paying out a dividend, what has been the secret, would you say, to your success as far as being able to grow your revenues so substantially quarter over quarter? Well, Rich, it really goes back to everything that Vox is about and in the industry that we operate in. First and foremost, I believe that royalty assets are going to outperform over the long term for some of the systemic issues that are going to face the commodity sector. Uh, one, I do believe that prices for the broad basket of hard rock mine commodities is going to increase. But I also expect that costs are going to increase as well for mining companies. And so royalty companies are a great way, and royalty assets specifically, are a great way to get exposure to what I think most people believe is going to be a rising basket of prices across hard rock commodities without the inflationary cost pressures. So I believe in royalties long term and have for almost two decades now. It's that belief that led us to going and finding competitive advantages to find these types of assets at great values. And that's what's underpinning our returns and our results for our shareholders is that we have unique capability to find royalties that are great assets uh, and are going to return significant uh, excess returns to our shareholders over time. And we're demonstrating and validating that capability and that that is also durable over the long term. So that's what's generating the results. It was a belief a long time ago that these were the best assets in the hard rock mine commodity sector and then building the competitive advantage in terms of finding these assets at great value. So I believe we're very unique in the industry in terms of really being able to deliver excess returns. So I know you travel a lot. I know you were traveling recently. Can you talk a little bit about that? How do you identify these assets? It seems as though you're, you're finding these diamonds in the rough on a consistent basis. I don't want you to, you know, tell us your secret sauce, but, how are you finding these assets at such discounted prices? Yeah, well, for your viewers who might be just getting familiar with Vox Royalty Corp, one, we bought the world's largest uh, and I think most significant proprietary royalty database covering third party royalties all around the world. That's our asset. We bought it for $2.1 million in 2019. Um, and so that really gives us a roadmap of finding interesting mining royalty assets all over the world. Uh, there's a particular strength of that database in Australia. And so you see that we've, we have um, a tremendous positive weighting to Western Australia, which we believe is the, is the world's best mining market to own royalties in. Um, the second kind of leg of that stool, and, and I'm even back up before that, the first part of our process is having a team of technical experts, mining engineers and geologists that are looking at interesting developments on projects all over the world. So it's the right people looking for the right things with the right asset. We then, across our team and a network of deal sourcing agents, we're able to find the unique and esoteric parties that own these assets, get in touch with them, and then start building a relationship to ultimately be able to transact on these assets where we're providing liquidity or asset diversification to these royalty owners. And in return, we bring the asset into our portfolio. And so it's a very systematic process for us to buy these royalties. Um, and it, you know, I think it's very nuanced in our sector and that we have a particular system and process that we follow with an asset in the database that consistently allows us to find value and find these great assets. For an investor that's looking at investing into Vox Royalty Corp, it's been a phenomenal year in 2023. What can an investor look forward to 
when they're looking at Vox Royalty Corp into 2024? Well, look, I think it's a great time to be evaluating Vox. Um, the markets have been volatile. You know, we've traded sideways. Despite, um, you know, when we came public in May of 2020, so right during the middle of COVID, we were essentially pre-revenue. We had one producing asset, which we actually subsequently sold for almost 10 times what we bought it for. Uh, but now we have six producing assets growing significantly. We had $10 million in revenue or approximately $10 million in revenue last year. Guidance this year for between 11 and 13. Um, and so you're finding Vox that essentially in terms of stock price, the same place that it was uh, back in May of 2020, only exponential growth in revenue, free cash flow. Uh, we're paying a dividend now. We're on the NASDAQ. We're on the TSX main board. And we're continuing to demonstrate to the market that we have a durable advantage in finding value that's going to pay dividends, uh, pun intended, over the long term. So we're very excited about our business. I think for investors that want exposure to commodities, aren't ready to be investing in individual mining companies for whatever the reason may be, it could be that you're worried about cost inflation over the long term. Vox and our business model is uniquely positioned, I think, to, to really perform well for our shareholders. I agree with you. And... I know you're not going to say it, but I believe that you are extremely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Like you mentioned, the stock is trading where it was before all of this revenue growth, before all of these additional assets on the balance sheet, before your dividend. So in my opinion, this is a company that is a screaming opportunity for investors, both in Canada and the United States. If there was one thing that you would want investors to know today, about Vox Royalty Corp going into 2024, what would that be? Well, Rich, you're really putting me on the spot on that one. Um, look, I, it's probably that, and again, there's there's so many things that are going through my mind right now of, of what I think makes Vox different, unique, and capable of, of continuing to create excess value for shareholders. I would say that the, the, fun, the fundamental underpinning of Vox is that we are buying what I believe are going to be some of the best assets in the world across any sector and we're doing it at meaningful value, which means we're buying assets at a fraction of their fair value on average and able to bring that into our portfolio for our shareholders with our unique capabilities, processes, and systems. And so that is what separates us from, I think everybody else in the market is we have this unique competitive advantage, we execute on it very well, and we're buying what I believe are going to be some of the most valuable assets in the world um, over the next, let's call it one, two, three years and longer. Um, if we get into a metal cycle that's bullish, uh, you know, our assets are going to create value either way. But in that type of environment, Vox is, uh, Vox is going to continue to, I think, exceed expectations. Uh, and the shareholders that want that type of exposure, I believe, will be well suited in Vox. I want to thank everyone that's watching. And I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research whenever you're looking into companies that we are featuring and interviewing. In saying that, I do believe this is a company, like I mentioned, that is very undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. We've got a company here that's got about 50 million in assets and cash, 9.7 million in, in cash flow, 12 million in operating capital. It's a company that I believe is extremely impressive. You've done a phenomenal job. We're speaking to the CEO, Kyle Floyd of Vox Royalty Corp. Thank you for joining us today, Kyle. Thanks. Always my pleasure, Rich. Appreciate you. Always a pleasure. And I want to bring your attention to the symbol on the NASDAQ, VOXR, and in Canada on the Toronto Stock Exchange, also VOXR. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We're bringing the winners, CEO interviews, breaking news, trending topics, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Richard D'Souza from the Rich TV Live podcast saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.